Hey what's up guys if you're looking for some cheap fast and reliable cash gold bars or modded accounts in reddit online check out dgzgold.com they're definitely the best when it comes to in-game services and don't forget to use code LAMPS L -A -M -P -S, during checkout that will give you a 5% bonus discount they also host a range of giveaways which includes consoles so definitely go and check them out guys all the details will be down in the description below all right let's begin today's video all right guys stop whatever you're doing and get your ass down here to van horn if you want to make some serious cash and xp in reddit online today even if you're working stop get back home and start doing this because making money in red dead is more important than making money in real life so as you can see all of these collectibles um that we are going to be duplicating today are close to each other so it'll be extremely fast and if you're on next gen it'll be even faster so there's like 10 collectibles in total so the first spot is right here and it'll have two collectibles so this one i believe is a is an arrowhead yep it's a random arrowhead so you can keep getting different arrowheads every time and inside the shack there will be a tarot card for some reason i couldn't feel vibrations so just look carefully and it'll be on top of this shelf right here and it's another insane xp method as well as you can see i level up my outlaw pass so if you do like a soft grind of this you should be able to max out your outlaw pass just from this and i haven't really played red that much so that's the only reason i haven't maxed out my outlaw pass yet i've been playing other games but i'll do like a grind one day and i'll max it out so if you guys haven't maxed out your outlaw pass yet it ends on may 31st so make sure you do it as soon as possible because once the period is over it's gone <laughs> You'll miss out on some cool stuff like my pirate hat right here. I get comments every day like where do you get this pirate hat? <laughs> Alright, so this one's a random coin spot. So technically you can get a full set of full set of coin just from this spot alone. So all the coin spots are random. So each time you dig up this spot, just keep an eye out on the name of the coin so you can know that it's a different coin. Even if you get the same one, doesn't matter because almost every coin gives you at least 20 bucks so it's like crazy money all right so let's move on to the next as you can see the xp just from one coin i got like 250 xp it's crazy and just on a side note guys i did like a little playthrough slash walkthrough of the new resident evil um resident evil village and it's on my upload section so if you guys missed out on that i'd appreciate if you check it out it's a long video but i'm I'm sure you guys will be entertained. I basically like make lots of jokes, trash talk all the bosses and might get a little annoying so <laughs> warning you beforehand. But anyways, you after you pick up that coin, you'll want to come down here to this house. So again, there is two collectibles here. Outside, I believe you'll find a family heirloom. And there you go. Yep, random family heirloom. So there's lots of random spots so that'll like if you keep grinding and uh, keep grinding and grinding you'll get full sets of coins fossils family heirlooms all right so over here inside this um nicely decorated house not <laughs> so inside this cabinet there'll be a cognac bottle and you can even duplicate some potent health cures which is a level 2 tonic so it's another bonus duplication so those are the two collectibles all right so i believe we have picked up one two three four five six collectibles yep all right so let's move on to the seventh one all right guys so from now on i'll have to explain where to sell the collectibles because you guys won't believe how many comments i get like uh where do i sell the collectibles why can't i sell the collectibles to the fence <laughs> Who asked you to sell the collectibles at the fence again? No, you need to sell the collectibles to my wife. Yes, my wife is in the game, Madam Nazar. She loves collectibles. You get a warm welcome. So. Anyways, you'll want to dig up this grave once you come here. Again, don't ask stupid questions like, does it work or you'll end up on a nameless grave like this one. And uh, I'll get a collectible out of you. 
all right moving on to the next one which will be right here just opposite of the um, thing that you dug up and it'll be on a broken building and it's a tarot card so and there is a I believe there is a like, kind of a big update coming out on June 1st along with a new outlaw pass so if you guys are like low on money gold now is the time to grind they might patch it they usually patch like glitches when they release major updates so if you want money or gold now's the time there is gold glitches too guys just go to my channel and you'll find treasure map glitches you'll find uh what do you call uh, the name of those missions again all right telegram missions glitches you can glitch gold from that as well so there's gold glitches guys i get comments about like well how do i get gold it's uh, impossible to make gold so yeah no excuses now all right so the tarot card will be upstairs and just looking for it all right it'll be on top of this fireplace right here four of swords examine and then back out from it all right so the next collectible is the most valuable out of all these collectibles because it's a fossil and it's a random fossil spot so you'll get a different fossil each time you dig it up so you can again get a full set of fossil just from that spot alone which is absolutely crazy again so rockstar usually like rockstar made some of the spots random because of the gene rookie collectors map but that's like playing into cheaters i wouldn't call it cheaters <laughs> exploiters advantage no so for fossils coins and uh, some arrowheads family heirlooms you need a metal detector so just pull out your metal detector and dig up a fossil and if you guys don't have a metal detector just go to my upload section where it says no time limit glitches so for those you don't need a metal detector so you can usually so you can just um, grind using those methods and get yourself a metal detector so there's no time limit glitches there's time limit ones the time limit ones will pay you more but don't worry now I forgot to mention that actually this is a time limit glitch so this glitch will be valid for another what's the time now another 12 another like 17 hours or so because we are not for spawning any collectibles these all of these collectibles are here today so. alright so we are almost at the end of one run and sometimes you might find legendary animals like in between collecting these collectibles so you can get some extra money or just deliver it to your camp so there's lots of advantages to this glitch alright so the next collectible will be inside this cabinet I think so nope <laughs> if you want some coffee you can duplicate that as well vegetables eat your vegetables green veggies vitamin <laughs> unlimited vitamin glitch okay so it's right here another metal detector item it's a necklace another random jewelry spot so this is like one of the best hotspots I've seen actually alright so the last one will be right there you can even collect more it doesn't have to be these collectibles if you want to collect more just go to the gene rocky map again and you can collect even more collectibles per one but these are all the close like these are all the collectibles that's like close to each other so all right so the last one is a shitty flower <laughs> so just pick it up so after you pick it up just disconnect oh sorry close the application close the game not disconnect guys close the game close app Alright, so in this video, I'll show you the PS4 and PS5 method, but if you're on Xbox, just go down to the pin comment of this video, and I'll basically write down the steps for Xbox. Don't worry, it's really easy. It's even easier than the PlayStation method. Alright, so on PS4 and PS5, you'll want to go to your settings and just change your date and time. So today is the 9th of April, so you'll want to change it to the 8th or 7th, whatever. Like, somehow I changed it to 7th instead of 8th so after you've done that just relaunch the game normally and you'll see that all the collectibles that you have picked up are there again like they'll be duplicated 
all of the collectibles have respawned so here's one example so just for extra proof just last time when I collected it was nighttime now it's daytime and there's some random guy here I was racing him to, like to whoever gets the collectible first haha <laughs> you lose uh, so I'll show you another example so that was a non diggable collectible so let me go to the fossil and I'll show you that this time I'll get a different fossil I forgot the name of the last one but pretty sure it's a different one so pull out my metal detector again and each fossil gives you like I think close to 25 bucks if I'm not mistaken so the dig spot will be right here so just pull up your metal detector again and boom dig it up so this is really OP guys again if you missed out on this video if you're watching it too late you can find your own hotspot just go to the Gene Rocky map and you can do it whenever you want or do one of those no time limit hotspots but anyways guys that's it for this video take care and peace out